Welcome back to Switch to Linux. This is just a nice little outdoor guy here today. Um, so I've uh, hinted at uh, some of the projects I'm going to be working on this summer, which might interfere a little bit with the computer schedule, but uh, I thought it was definitely interesting enough for a lot of people to uh, dive on. Uh, also, as you uh, if you guys watch Luke Smith, you know, he's going out in this compound and doing a lot of self-sufficiency things. Well, I've actually been doing a lot of that type of stuff for quite a while. Um, and um, what we're doing this year is, uh, this is the first time that I have a nice private outdoor patio. And so what we're actually going to do is I'm going to convert the back patio into uh, into a, uh, a type of... Um, individual garden type system now we're doing two different platforms one of these is potted plants so i have a variety of potted plants right down here you guys be able to have a quick look at there there we are so this is just kind of the start of what we're working on um just kind of got some seeds started and uh the goal is is that we're going to um we're going to grow herbs and we're going to grow vegetables. So I want to do away with having to buy herbs from the grocery store, herbs and spices to cook with. So I got some basil going. I have some sweet marium. I have oregano and thyme uh, still inside. They're too young to bring outside yet. And then I have a variety of different tomatoes, uh, beans, and peppers, which are, uh, and I also have some lettuce and some spinach. Those grow much faster. So. Um, I'm getting those out pretty soon. But the other thing we're going to be doing out here um, is a couple years ago I actually built a micro scale aquaponics system. And uh, I'm going to reset that up but the entire platform is actually going to run on a solar thing because the outlet out here is way over there and I want to actually put the thing over here. And so I'm actually building out a solar platform which will also help to be able to charge phones, computers, anything that needs a basic charge off of a uh, off of a solar grid instead of tying off of the main uh, the main panel. So I actually have all the components. I'm just waiting for a friend that's going to help build it, and we just need to wait a few weeks while he uh, finishes up some other projects, and then we'll be out here building that. So we're basically going to build a big uh, solar generator guy. It's going to kind of sit over here in this corner. And then the aquaponics platform is just going to set up aside this grate over here. And then I'm going to do a variety of pots just on the other half of the grate. And then some over on the other end. So there's actually quite a bit. So I have a nice bench here. And I have a grapefruit tree there. I actually started that from, from a seed a few years back. Um, and so, you know, it's taller than I am now. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's growing very nicely. So the ways that some of the other things I'm going to be working on here in this is uh, one thing is to have better sustainable soil. I actually already have a worm bin over here. So I'll show you that on a different video if you guys are interested. But uh, a worm bin is it's a much more efficient way of doing composting and a much less stinkier way of doing composting. In fact, you can actually grow a worm bin indoors. They don't smell at all. Uh, you just feed your kitchen scraps to it and the worms will make good solid soil out of the thing. So I'm using that for better uh, better soil than having to get things. Now, the unfortunate thing is nearly every soil you find is already laced with chemicals and stuff. So um, I was thinking about, you know, getting soil without any of that, but it's it's hard to, harder to find and then harder to get prepped and it will take the worms a little bit longer. And so I am unfortunately going to have to start with some of that type of soil. But then that soil will get recycled into the worm bin and eventually I'll get to the point where I won't even have to buy any more soil anymore. So that's kind of what the goal is. Um, grow the herbs, uh, herbs and spices. Uh, grow some of the, the regular vegetables, um, beans, tomatoes, spinach. I'll look around and see if there's anything else I think I can grow. Now the limitation is I have to grow everything in pots. So it's basically a, a patio uh, potted garden is what we're doing. Which is a little bit different, but definitely something you can do in a more urban environment and a less, um, you know, a less country type environment. So with this nice back private patio, I'll be able to go ahead and put all that stuff together. So we'll have the aquaponics up eventually. Um, we'll have, uh, I'll talk about all the different things going into that. And um, that is kind of what we're doing. So that may start to slowly interfere a little bit with some of the schedule this summer. But I think some of you will enjoy that. I'm going to try not to have more than one video a week on the channel with that. So if 
you don't like that kind of stuff, then you don't have to watch those ones, of course. But if you are very interested in that kind of stuff, I know some of you are. I mean, Switch to Linux isn't about all computer systems. Uh, on this channel, we're about living differently. We're about making different choices and things like that. And so uh, I think this is a, a definite cool thing that you can see how you can make your own food, even if you are you don't have a big plot of land in the middle of the country. Uh, and so in this case here, now it would be a lot harder to do that in the last place I was in because I didn't have any outside access at all. You can still grow things with grow lights, um, but I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that not only do I have this nice private back patio, but the lighting is perfect that over here is always in sunlight from the morning to the evening. And then I have some partially sunlight over there. So I have great amounts of uh, great amounts of uh, of soil and great amounts of sunlight to deal with. But of course, this part over here stays mostly shaded. So anything that has to stay in the shade, I have some shadable areas in it as well. So that's kind of what we're looking forward to. Um, I just got to see if I can get the get the guys who own the place to actually paint the patio first so I don't have to keep moving things around, but uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, keep an eye out for more updates on this. Like I said, I'll probably probably trying not to do more than one video a week on this but uh, who knows what will happen if everyone really really wants to see it eh, we'll do more I don't know so let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to gardening I don't know